Hey guys, how are you? So I got a question about chat GPT. What's your take chat GPT web scraping and potential lawsuits? All right. So uh, Stack Overflow will charge AI giants for training data. So that's an interesting thing, right? So you have AI like chat GPT and there's others out there and they go out on the web and they scrape data to allow them to do their thing. I'm not an AI expert, but I have good friends of mine who are AI experts. And from what they tell me, the data is the most important aspect of the AI. The data in which you train it on and how you train it. Uh, so the data is hugely valuable in this whole thing. So though the data is hugely valuable, without the data you have no AI, it's, it's a very interesting legal question, I guess moral question perhaps, as to whether or not the AI using and leveraging all this data and then transforming it, essentially it's, it's you know, when the AI processes all the data and then you ask it a question and presents you this data and gives you all kinds of options and the conversation and so forth, like you see with ChatGPT or it uses images and it combines and creates its own unique images based on all this image data that it sees out there. That's going to be an interesting case because in terms of copyright, I think at least in North America, I think the way it works in terms of law, as far as I understand, I'm not a lawyer, if the work, the derivative work is transformative enough such that it's different enough, uh, then you can leverage other people's uh, creations. Uh, which makes sense, right? Because it, there would be no chance for innovation if everything was locked down super solid. So you could argue when an AI scans Stack Overflow as an example and uh, is able to generate all kinds of uh, answers with regards to programming based on all the, uh, all the information on Stack Overflow, you could argue that uh, it's transformative enough such that you can't really copyright that. On the other hand, you could also argue from Stack Overflow's per point of view is that we have all this data, it's our data, you want it, you gotta pay for it because it costs us a fortune to gather all this data over the years. I don't know where it's gonna go. I don't know where it's where it's gonna go. So I think you're gonna have to proceed cautiously, see what the first court cases say in that regard. Um, it doesn't put into jeopardy the AI business in general, not at, not at all. For instance, I have a friend who, his whole motto is that he's, his service is to provide an AI that is trained on the data on the data that the client provides. So their business motto is providing the AI and providing the service of educating and training the AI on the data set pr provided by the client. So that's a very viable model, and I think it's going to be a great business to get into over the years. Um, so that's a different question. I think for the search engine type of AI or the image building type of AI that leverages all that information is floating around out there for free on the web. So there you go. Those are my thoughts on that. Tread lightly, I suppose, but AI is, the, is uh, I call it the new crypto, but it's much more than crypto. Crypto, uh, all the use cases, as far as I can tell, have not been... Um, implemented for the most part, except for NFTs or some stuff like that. But it's not widely used. It's a hyper niche technology. And uh, I'm sure blockchain will help find its use in some practical way. But it's, I don't think it's going to be like a bonanza that people were saying it was going to be. The bonanza was buying into the crypto craze 10 years ago. I don't know why you buy Bitcoin now. It may go up to 100,000 a coin, so it triples. But there's such high risk with that. I think you might be, you might be better off just buying the S&P, you know, or something. But I'm not giving you investment advice because I'm not your, uh, I don't know, I'm not an investment counselor. And I don't know what your personal financial situation is. I have to say all this, yada, yada, yada. So don't listen to me. I'm just some nerd on the web with regards to your finance. I have to say this for legal reasons for me. That's just me. But in terms of crypto versus AI, AI, I think, has a much, much broader application. I think there's a lot of business opportunities there. How that's going to shake out in the courts, uh, for example, uh, where uh, Stack Overflow is saying you can't use our data to train your AI, 
I'm, I'm sympathetic to both ends of the argument, so it's going to be interesting how that plays out. Thank you.